Welcome to Ask Davis Golf. Today I want to share with you a video about sway. Now sway for me causes a lot of issues in the golf swing that I think we could avoid by doing some simple practice. So just to be clear what sway is, sway would be the movement of the hips moving away from target on the backswing. Slide would be the hips moving towards target on the downswing. So we have sway and slide. So when you sway, what tends to happen is your spine will tend to reverse and it will cause lots of issues in your spine health long term, so not good news. But also from a golf swing point of view, what tends to happen from there is we'll tend to then move back away from the golf ball on the way down. That generally causes you to cut across the golf ball, as well as cause many issues with contact. So there tends to be the issue of not getting the low point in the right spots. We tend to hit a lot of ground before the ball, or a lot of top shots or thin shots. So we tend to see a lot of golfers making this kind of movement, and a lot of it can be caused by the sway. So this video is going to give you a drill to improve your sway. Now, if you are the golfer that sways but moves back committedly beautifully and strikes the ball wonderful, then you don't need to worry so much about this. But if you're the golfer, which most of the people are that do sway, that struggle to get back to the golf ball, which is the reason we'd want to change it, then working on this drill on the range will help improve your sway. So the drill's quite hard, and you're going to get some funny looks, but it definitely works. So, the idea of the drill would be we take our set up to the golf ball, and what we're going to do, we're going to stomp our feet and make a slow backswing. When we get to the top of the backswing, we will then stop and then swing through as normal. So it's quite hard work, and it's a bit like kind of rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time, trying to do the two things at the same time, but it definitely works. So let me have a go at the shot if I take my setup. Okay, and if we then just try and feel like we're going to stomp, make a slow backswing to the top, have a little pause, and then hit the golf ball. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about the strike you achieve because it's a hard drill, but it'll definitely improve how you move your pelvis in the backswing. Now we do want to turn the hips in the backswing, and we'd make sure if we had a line here, we turn kind of around that kind of line, if we like. We don't go through the line or we don't go away from the line. So we maintain what I call a stable pelvis and we allow it to turn. The amount it turns depends on how flexible you are in the mid-spine. So we need to turn it the amount to make sure we can complete our backswing. So have a go at this drill if you're a swayer. To check if you're a swayer, draw a line on your hip or put your finger on your hip on the video and see if your hip moves through the line or away from the line. That would be a reverse pelvis and this would be a sway. And if you do that, have a go at the stomping drill, even without a golf ball if need be, until you can perfect it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you post any comments you have down below and make sure you like and subscribe.